dear learners in this lesson we are going to learn about the role of internet in business to business application and building our own website in this technological age internet has become unavoidable in almost all fields its contribution in e business and e commerce leads to faster accurate and efficient customer service with a less consumed time and cost business to business e-commerce is one of the business models and defined as the exchange of products and services between businesses currently the whole world is shopping online which was once started as an option or a trend at the present trade without being present over the web seems incomplete therefore most of the traders now need an e-commerce website of their own to extend their business at the end of this lesson you will be able to explain what b2b commerce is and why it is needed different models of business to business e-commerce impact and benefits of internet in business to business application necessity of building own website and the different key drivers in building own website now let us see what is business to business e-commerce electronic commerce is the trending concept that describes the process of buying and selling or exchanging products and services and information via the internet business to business electronic commerce entails that both seller and buyer are business corporations the training products in business to business e-commerce are computing electronics utilities shipping and warehousing motor vehicles business to business e-commerce is defined as the electronic support of business transactions between companies and covers a broad spectrum of applications that enable an enterprise or business to form electronic relationships with their distributors resellers suppliers and other partners as well as the exchange of information before and the service after a transaction why is business to business e-commerce needed business are able to compete both in local and international market without considering its size if the business is in worldwide web it is available around the world and can carry out business in different nationals business to business e-commerce allows people to do business without the barriers of time and distance it is possible to log on to the internet at any point of time which makes the business available anytime either it is day or night automation is done in almost all business process the company does so that one can directly purchase and sell products and services at a single click of the mouse via organization website with accuracy and speed it is also possible to deal with business virtually any time even without human supervision thus business to business e-commerce centralizes business process which leads to faster accurate and up to date data processing enabling reduced delivery time labor cost and cost incurred in document preparation error detection mail preparation telephone calling data entry overtime supervision expenses now let us see about the models of business to business e-commerce business to business e-commerce is categorized based on who controls the marketplace the buyer the supplier or the intermediary buyer oriented marketplace comprises of few buyers and many suppliers supplier oriented marketplace comprises of many buyers and few suppliers 
intermediary oriented marketplace comprises of many buyers and many suppliers impact of internet in business to business e-commerce the internet has a great impact on business in two directions namely the new business which is also known as click only companies and the traditional brick and mortar companies which go online to operate and communicate with the customers e-commerce helps companies to keep their cost down by having access to broader range of suppliers and optimizing internal processes the commercialization of the internet facilitated business to business electronic store fronts representing online catalogs of products and services of the supplier this partly replaced the paper catalogs in the 1990s net marketplaces and private industrial networks emerged net marketplaces collaborate a huge number of suppliers and purchasing firms together into a single digital marketplace operated over the internet net marketplace is defined as networked information systems that serve as infrastructure for information exchange and other transactions related to buying or selling processes it is transaction based and supports many to many relationships now let us see about private industrial networks it is an internet based communication environment that enables business partner not only to buy or sell goods and services but also to get connected with each other they are relationship based and encompass collaboration in product development and manufacturing marketing activities and inventory management role of internet in supply chain management in business to business e-commerce supply chain is defined as the network of all individuals organizations resources activities and technology involved in the creation and sale of a product from the delivery of source materials from the supplier to the manufacturer to its eventual delivery to the end user business to business e-commerce supply chains have migrated to internet for rapid and reliable service reduced cost the functions of a supply chain will include the following three functions supply of materials to the manufacturers process of manufacturing distribution of finished goods through a network of distributors and retailers to a final customer to facilitate the flow of products information is shared up and down the supply chain which enables all parties to plan appropriately to meet current and future needs supply chain management is also called as scm is defined as the management of a network of all business processes and activities which encompasses procurement of raw materials manufacturing and distribution management of finished goods supply chain management is to provide the right product at the right time to the right place and at the right cost to the customer various organizations that form the supply chain are linked together through three flows namely the product flow which includes the transformation movement and storage of goods and materials from supplier to consumer information flow which includes order information and delivery status to control the day to day flow of goods and materials up and down the supply chain and finally the financial flow which includes payment schedules and credit terms 
The goals achieved through successful supply chain management are enhanced flexibility where the members of supply chain can rapidly and reliably find the specific information they need to complete the exchange of goods or services and receive quick payment. Reduced cost is the key to internet based commonly available information that increases the transparency and speed of transactions. Now let us see the phases in SCM. There are four phases in supply chain management namely the procurement. The procurement reduces the cost of purchases by providing supply chain partners quick access to information about the sources, availability, pricing and technical data. Supply chain members cooperate in making this information available online possibly in secure folders only accessible to account holders who are supply chain partners. Once information required to make a purchase is available online from several sources, procurement is more efficient because the best source can be identified rapidly. Next let us see about the supply. The most significant role of the internet is to greatly increase the size of the accessible market to market their goods and services so that they can sell worldwide. The ability of competitive suppliers to achieve greater sale volume is considerable. Reduced transaction costs once the supplier has found a customer because completing the transaction is rapid and more efficient. When we talk about the direct transactions, in general, the internet has reduced the power of intermediaries. Suppliers offer their products and services directly to customers and purchasers recognize what they need directly from producers. This process of disintermediation simplifies supply chain management by making real time data on changes in demand and supply available to the markets instead of having the information filtered through resellers. Collaboration Though supply chain management through the internet is still in its infancy, changes exist for even closer integration of supply and procurement functions. Suppliers are fond of having a high predictable sales volume which purchasers are interested in looking for a reliable low cost source. Companies can satisfy both goals by providing data on production and on procurement needs to each other under long term relationships. The resulting high steady volume allows the supplier to give products at lower cost while the purchaser benefits from the cost reduction and gets a reliable supply. Now let us see about the benefits of internet in business to business e-commerce. When a country adopts information and communication technology to carry out its activities, the economy can become more transparent and efficient. So it is much easier to manage e-commerce in an atmosphere of trust. There are three key drivers which helps the companies to determine whether to use business to business e-commerce while entering new geographical markets. They are e-readiness which helps to figure out the ease with which a business relationship can be conducted. E-readiness is measured as a function of six variables. Connectivity and technology infrastructure which measures the extent of access to the internet and mobile networks as well as 
reliability and security. Business environment is determined based on strength of economy, political stability, foreign investment policy, labor market, etc. Social and cultural environment is evaluated based on educational level, the internet literacy, degree of innovation, etc. Legal environment determines the specific laws governing the internet use and overall legal framework. Government policy and vision shows how government uses the internet technologies to operate and provide public services. Consumer and business adoption reflects the online purchasing activity and amount of money which businesses and customers spend on information and communication technologies. The second key driver is values of a country. A country's value need to be understood as a fundamental facet of culture. There are two dimensions concerned with the values which include the traditional society which focuses on religion, family and authority, survival society which concentrates on physical security and economic accumulation, well-being, self-expression and quality of life. The last key driver is corruption. Corruption endangers the loss of social integrity. The role of internet in business to business market of goods and services enhances investment in e-commerce. Now let us see about building our own website. E-commerce is typically everywhere and in almost each sphere of life where time is rather very crucial for any trend, business or product to make it big, learn and adapt the latest to offer innovation and redefine. There are ample options wherein you could get well experienced and knowledgeable people who are adapt to design and develop a website. Why there is a need to build our own website? A website is dynamic and ever changing, hence the moment you accomplish something, you can just update it so that the people can continually come back and see what you are up to. Having a website makes you more findable. If your own website, you can be found by a much wider audience which is the key for establishing your personal brand and for highlighting your accomplishments. Succeeding today requires that you make yourself stand out and have a website can help you do that. Learning how to build a website involves a number of different skills, especially if you get into customizing and optimizing things. Now let us see about the key drivers to build an e-commerce website. The key drivers to build an e-commerce website are align the business goals. The first key driver is align the business goals. Not every e-commerce website becomes a success within a night no matter how great the products might be. There are many measures that are to be adopted to design and develop a website to give it simply the best. First, the goals must be identified and set right because once you have a plan, a destination to arrive, the path shall be carved undoubtedly. Everyone who steps in the market wishes to make it big, hence, Identify the suitable market, target the audiences, know the expenses including liabilities like taxes and excise duties, be well aware of the trade practices. The next key driver is play smart. Life in today's world is a race, so ensure the e-commerce website is full of all that you need and expect 
with the ideal set of features and custom built options which would work closely with you and also recreate all that you have in mind. Look for the ways to achieve them all. Once you have a clear picture in mind, things would surely fall in place. The next key driver is win the competition. Be aware of the current state of the market so that it would help you do your best and win over others in the market. Take help of technology to get the best insights, carve out the finest moves. Once you explore the competitor's core strength through various online tools, you would be able to discover simply the finest website of them all. The next key driver is future shall knock even before you realize. It is significant to have a larger vision since the technology is evolving and getting rapid as the days are passing by. We have to adapt the latest evolution and also ensure that your e-commerce development checklist has enough scope to be redefined, evolve and adapt the change. The next key driver is sourcing of products. Success is yours once you plan well. Adequate planning is needed for both website design and business since the products you sell is important too. However, great the design of the website is, the products would steal the show. Therefore, source of products well must be reliable, consistent and quality must be maintained. When handcrafting the products, you must have a reliable team. Domain name is the next key driver. Most domain names you would have in mind might be already taken by someone else. So be creative and get this done with your team along. An ideal domain name has to be short, attractive, easy to type and something people would remember. Hence, select the one which has simple and easy spellings. Deciding the domain name is crucial and need to be planned in the right direction since ranking would be highly reliant upon the domain name you opt for. Web host needs a pick two is the next key driver. The web hosting solutions supports any business running over the web which is fundamental for the success of the e-commerce website. It plays a vital role in the way a business works and succeeds, so ensure to pick on the right, well-experienced and equipped company instead of falling short of low pricing and discounts. Right decision has to be made in the first go itself. It is very tough to move companies later as they have all your files stored and removing and relocating them seems a tough task to be done. The next key driver is dedicated e-commerce web design services. Choose an ideal designing company who is well adapted with the design modules of e-commerce industry and are well aware of the latest advancements. The need of the website being professional is crucial and basic, hence the design of e-commerce portals needs to be planned well and should be professional, attractive and contain all the elements that would make people explore through it, pick what they like. Interesting and attractive content product descriptions, graphics that go along, high quality product pictures, videos, Buying tips are all vital and once you have the right support, all this would seem effortless. The next key driver is logo. The logo gives an attraction to a visitor that is much required in the online world since the people might forget your business name 
but will have a space for your logo always. Therefore, get this designed from professionals as they for sure. Professional logo designers have the right amount of knowledge and are highly creative and work with the right tools and they know how to add that kind of an edge over to your business. Therefore, it is necessary to create exceptional attraction in the logos. Web analysis is the next key driver. Web analysis has to be done on a timely basis by professionals that would indeed give you a better understanding of all that is happening with your e-commerce website. For instance, it tracks down the number of users visiting your website daily, keywords being searched and when you have the right facts and figures, planning becomes all the easier as well as precise. The best part is to know the competition and get prepared to perform better than them, offer more for instance. Security is the next key driver. It is the base of the online business, hence it is essential to construct a managed and apt security system. This would make sure all sort of viruses, hackers and thieves are kept at bay. You must also create adequate backups for your business to be on the safer end. As concluding remarks, we can conclude business to business electronic commerce changes traditional markets by supporting many transactions electronically. Companies work more efficiently and can realize considerable savings in process costs. New possibilities arise in buying and selling products as well as in forming new business relationships due to the internet. Once you have the basic in place, achieving success is purely obvious, perfection comes with time. Take time to learn, make mistakes, learn from them and get better by the days, evolve and blossom, float the competition around, observe the best and learn the latest. This is all for today's lesson. Happy learning and thank you.